Hello my dear lovers of precious jewelry, today I will tell you the story of how Cartier delighted the fashionistas of the early 20th century. How Cartier wooed early 20th century fashionistas a graceful tiara with amethysts, aquamarine luxury and other rare crowns tiaras, egrets and other headpieces from the jewelry house of Cartier have always been considered jewelry for celestials. I used to think that only queens could afford these ingenious creations of the French. However, other elite, dukes, duchesses, princesses, including our compatriots, could easily outshine a princess or a king's consort. If a multi-million dollar fortune allowed to collect a whole collection of jewelry of their favorite brand. However, at the beginning of the 20th century, wives of millionaires without any titles often bought up masterpieces of the famous jewelry house, causing envy of the first ladies of the country. As they say, it is not forbidden to live beautifully. Today, dear readers, we will admire the most luxurious tiaras from Cartier. I am sure that you are not familiar with all of them. Weightless and delicate, or, on the contrary, majestic and eye-catching and weighty. How about a diamond rarity created from a sparkling scattering of diamonds and large, magical, seductive amethysts? The shape of the crown resembles a miniature crown. In addition to diamonds, the master decorated the masterpiece with unobtrusive patterns of onyxes and sapphires. The piece saw the light in 1920 to become the best in the collection of expensive jewelry of some socialite. The magic of bottomless purple color and nothing extra. In 1904 another magnificent tiara was created, with a soft, comfortable hoop, by means of which it was attached to the owner's hair. Isn't it an incredibly feminine headdress? The diamond sprigs seem to bend in the breeze. And rounded shining pendants remind us of dewdrops, in which the rays of the morning sun play merrily. Oh, those twenties of the last century. The time of new millionaires, unbridled parties, fabulous luxury of high society. It was then that the fashion for all sorts of hairpins and exciting egret blossomed. Another masterpiece from Cartier, a tiara with light feathers and diamond arches, echoed many jewelry subjects. Reminiscent of the ultra-trendy hats and aigrettes of the time. The centerpiece, a fabulous diamond, sparkled fiercely against the background of light, weightless feathers. And another tiara from the same series of trend jewelry, this time with more rounded and shorter feathers. And a diamond bandeau with a woven ornament. Oriental, Arabic motifs in the European manner, stylish, unabashedly expensive and beautiful. Around 1910, as fashion historians believe, was born even more enchanting tiara with huge aquamarines, called Belle Epoque. Once upon a time, a crown with insanely delicate aquamarine bunches belonged to Lady Christina Hesketh. She must have been one of the first fashionistas among socialites. Blue stone inserts, symbolizing the element of unrestrained water, are interspersed with diamond myrtle leaves. The marvelous tiara looks light and airy due to the fact that the pattern is not solid, but as if drawn on invisible air. Divine Art Nouveau style with intricate jeweled swirls, flowers and leaves, how charming it is. When Queen Elizabeth of Bavaria of Belgium saw Cartier's new creation, she immediately decided to get her hands on it. After all, she was an avid fashionista. And in 1910 Her Majesty became the first owner of the French novelty. Moreover, the Queen even named the unique tiara in honor of her own name. Light platinum, pure diamonds of various weights and sizes, and a six-carat stone in the center of the composition, perhaps such a crown looked no worse than an imposing and bulky crown. However, Elizabeth herself decided to wear the tiara not on top of her hair to resemble a traditional crown, and to decorate the forehead with a diamond strip. And then the French exclusive looked like a refined bandeau, to the envy of other ladies from the royal entourage. Look at these photos I found, a rare beauty indeed. How much we don't know about Cartier creations. A bandeau tiara with unique oriental motifs was created in platinum. Cartier made this order in 1912 for a wealthy man, Baron Pierre de Hansberg. I wonder who he gave this surprise to, his faithful wife or his secret lover. The rows of diamonds give birth to several large elements with noble ornamentation. Lower and upper rows of diamond drops support the harmony of the whole aristocratic design. For those who love contrasting details, the jewelers came up with an unusual tiara made of blackened steel and transparent diamonds, with a delicate curly stem and miniature leaves. Conversely, the voluminous luxury of royal pathos embodied in a diamond lattice. 
but without the slightest gap and free space. This is such an extraordinary and different, Cartier, for every taste, request and status of selectivity. Which of the tiaras did you like the most? Write your comments.